Welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> Matt Gibbons. Jarrett Wenzel. Jim Mayer. We're of the local metal band Pariah. Local as in? New Jersey. <laughs> South Jersey! So you guys familiar with uh, Dez Fafara? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Falafel? Something. Falafel? Falafel. Yeah. Is he a part of something that I would know? Devil oh, Driver? No, yeah. 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 And He's prior to that, Cole Chambers. Right? So, uh, yeah, I'm familiar with Devil Driver. Yeah. So, uh, Dad started off, I guess, like his first band was Cole Chamber. And they were kind of came up with, like, with the corn and those bands. bands. Yes. Although they didn't sound anything like those bands. I a little, did. A little bit? Yeah. I mean, they weren't as bad as some of them, certainly. I actually, we had this conversation a couple weeks yeah, ago. Were, I actually liked them. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I saw decent. them. Yeah, they were entertaining, and he and he's a good vocalist. So he got a lot of flack when he he got in double driver. People were be like, "Oh, jumping yeah. on the bandwagon." You you know, now that this metal is popular, now that's what you're doing. You know, it's like, whatever. I mean, I think the guy he he's good in double driver, and yeah. he's good in cold chamber. So, props to him. I don't I don't look at it the negative way. Props yeah. to him. Definitely, I love him. Um, I saw him at Ozfest a few years back, and the um, last one they had. They're really good. I'm, I think they're on the main stage. I'm pretty sure. Too. Yeah, I think he must have a pretty good relationship with Sharon because he's the Coltrane we used to play at the Ozfest too. Because that's when I saw them. I I never seen Devil Driver. Manager, so. Oh, was she? Yeah, she, Sharon was their manager. Well, that would make sense then, doesn't it? If she's not. If she's not still their manager, is she? I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah. Since they rock and roll. Well, <laughs> thank you, Led Zeppelin. So they have a, uh, he's got a lot going on. So he's, he's doing new Devil Drivers coming out in 2013. And um, he's also possibly working on a, on a new Cold Chamber album. He's been touring with them. They've been doing some yes. shows with that. And uh, they ha the band has some material written, but I don't know if he's he's saying he doesn't know if he has time to do yeah, it. Yeah, I just read an interview. He said they've been sending him stuff and he's been liking it. And they're, you know, weighing their options, which is probably a smart way to get Exactly. Back. But they're about to go, uh, go on a co-headlining tour, Devil Driver, with Cannibal Corpse. Cool. So that should be cool. And I'm pretty cool. sure they're coming through, um... Stone yeah, Stone Pony, I think. What, Asbury Park? Yeah. yeah. Really? I know Cannibal, Cannibal Corpse, Corpse cool. is coming through. I don't know if Devil Driver's on that bill or not. I don't think that they, they would be playing at Stone Pony. Isn't that too small? No. Nah. No? No, it's, it's How pretty small. I've never been I, there I before. played there once. Uh, really? Yeah, I like to drop the names of venues I played at. <laughs> it's, uh, no, I mean, it's decent size. He drops venues, I drop it's, names. That's, that's our thing. Yeah, who did we, we played with Immolation there. Wow. Yeah, and, uh, it was a split. Immolation and Grave, that's right. So. Grave I never knew you played with Grave. I love yeah, Grave. They were cool. Um. They're foreign. They're way foreign. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. No, they're really, oh. What's it got? Ole, is that the guy's name? Ole. Ole! Ole! No, he was a real cool dude. Yeah, I remember, um. Something about Cannibal Corpse, like they can feel like basically a festival if they even wanted to, but they love playing like the smaller venues because probably the more chance of people getting hurt. But like, well, they're they're probably the biggest death metal band yeah. of all time. Yeah, they're, 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 they're yeah. the most. Well, no, I think they're the biggest selling one, Cannibal Corpse. I'm almost positive about that. I assume if I, I think sure if you say, records. I think if you say death metal to someone, I think the first band that generally comes to mind for someone who doesn't yeah. like listen to it avidly is, is Cannibal Corpse it's funny when they first came out um, there was like an article I remember what magazine it was it might have been Metal Maniacs or whatever they were saying how cheesy they were yeah they were you not, remember that they were not very widely regarded no the they were like they were like almost like considered a joke band when they first came out them and Deicide yeah Deicide because they were mm -hmm. cartoonishly right? satanic but now look at them they're like the two two of the most influential bands yeah. remember, De from the beginning Death pretty much was respected Morbid Angel. Yeah. But Campbell Corps got a lot of crap when they came out. Obituary people liked I could see that. pointed out. The like, thing with death, like, they're, like, the type of thing you can, like, honestly sit there and listen and be like, you know, they get their message across, like, and mm -hmm. with and everything. Campbell well Corps song is, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. The that's song definitely easy to well, put. Well, Campbell Corps puts their message apart. Yeah. 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 Well, different kind of message. Campbell Corps. Yeah. That's the, that's the message, yeah. I like them. They've come, I love Cannibal Corpse. They've come a long way, Cannibal Corpse. I de yes, I do. You like the new record? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah, great. Yeah, nice yeah, return yeah. to form. I love that that one song that sounds like a cross between Morbid Angel and Obituary, kind of. It's, uh, 
like it's slower and kind of grind. It's like kind of a departure for them. I can't think of the name of it though. So this is another bad story on my part. Yeah, um, it's two for me so far. So that's what we have, I guess, on uh, Dutch Favera again. Yeah. Bye-bye.